Hi, do you know what is pharyngitis in animals? Let's discuss. It is inflammation of pharyngeal mucosa and submucosa. Pharyngitis is characterized by painful swallowing, cough, and salivation, occasional regurgitation via nostrils while eating or drinking. Pharyngitis is very common medical condition in horses and dogs. Let's discuss. It's possible physical etiology. Pharyngitis may develop due to faulty drenching by unexperienced person or passing stomach tube, accidental eating of metals or hard bones, very cold or hot feet intake, or result of excessive barking in dogs. The infectious. Etiology includes following bacterial, parasitic, and viral diseases. These diseases have potential to cause this condition. An effective differential diagnosis by experienced veterinarian will be required. What is stages of disease development in affected animal? In pathogenesis, we can see an agent act on pharynx then, an inflammatory response develops, leads to painful swelling, disclination to eat or drink. Depending upon etiology, there may be physical obstruction. Animal will cough when attempts to eat and feed may come back via nostrils, which indicates severe swelling or blockade. Necropsy findings include inflammatory response in organs, and swollen lymph nodes at throat region. In clinical pathology, we take samples from nasal or throat swabs. Suffering animal exhibit following signs and symptoms. In case of physical obstruction or swelling, partial or complete anorexia. And excessive salivation can be witnessed. If we palpate, throat animal will cough and feel pain. Feed coming back from nostrils while regurgitation. Fever as a result of toxemia or septicemic condition. Upon physical examination we find inflamed lymph nodes and aspiration pneumonia develops. These are some general and common signs of pharyngitis. The wait is over. Let's discuss the most interesting part of our lecture, the treatment. If the primary disease is diagnosed successfully, then we use specific treatment approach and other antibiotics like sulfonamides to combat secondary bacterial infections, and apply antiseptics locally on throat. We can apply Mandel's paint on throat. Here is the composition. To reduce inflammation on swollen lymph nodes, we use sodium iodide, intravenous at the dose rate of 100 to 300 milliliters for large animal. If orally possible, then give potassium iodide at the same dose. If actinobacillosis is diagnosed, then use Lugol's iodine solution via drip at the dose rate of 300 milliliters for large animals. For infectious etiology, use other antibacterials. Offer soft, palatable, semi-solid feed to animal if feeding possible. If animal is unable to feed by mouth, then give IV fluids and use sedatives like dipirone and 6% chloral hydrate intravenously. We can use NSAIDs, steroids, and antihistaminic drugs to reduce inflammation or edema, according to animal situation. For cough use, expectorants. For dog following combination is best. Give in two doses for effective result. Moreover, depending upon animal health condition, veterinary doctors take decisions to manage pharyngitis according to their experience and case requirements. Thank you for your time and attention. Best of luck for your bright future.